week's feast, Baby Yoda. Bone broth. What's up, everybody? Hi! My Hello. mother is back in town, Yay. and today we are making a very special recipe that's been requested a bunch, but we're gonna do it Chinese style. What are we making, Mom? Well, we're making a long simmered Chinese traditional herbal soup. Ooh, Yummy. it's called Bo Tong. Bo Tong. Bo Tong. It's a yeah. Cantonese soup, yeah. it's really, really good. You can find American soup recipes all over, but the traditional, legitimate, crafted from years of experience Asian soup in the kitchen, you only can get that right here. Priceless, baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're so lucky to have Mama Wong in the kitchen today to help us with this amazing recipe. Well, that's Jimmy's favorite when he was growing up. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, when I was a little baby Yoda myself. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, let's get started. All right, full disclosure, the first season of The Mandalorian is over, but we're still obsessed with Baby Yoda, like the rest of the internet. Now, Babish went ahead and had a master class of a video dissecting the different ways to make this soup, so we're gonna do something that we believe is a wholly unique and wonderful way of making this broth with an Asian and Chinese original recipe. Star Wars, after all, was inspired by a lot of sources, but George Lucas specifically borrowed tons from Akira Kurosawa, whose movies featured a similar scene wipe transition, and you can definitely find a lot of direct inspirations from Yoda Jimbo that led to the Cantina Brawl. Tons of videos to watch that really dig deep into the Star Wars influences, so we suggest that you check them out on YouTube when you get a chance. Now obviously the inspiration for Star Wars is all over, and not just Asian cinema, but there's a clear and strong link here. So we're inclined to believe that the bone broth soup should have an Asian origin to it. After all, the bone broth soup is one of the most traditional soups on the Chinese and Asian menu. You have a favorite Asian dish, something like pho or ramen, well guess what? They have to spend a lot of time putting bone bones in broth to make it happen. So let's get started. Begin by prepping your meat for the upcoming cook. We've got ourselves one whole chicken that Mama Wong is going to just aggressively cut into, and then a lot of pork butt as well. Finally, throw these and an entire date into a pot and bring it to a boil. Now, while this is going, you can prepare your other veggie ingredients that will go into the soup. My mom traditionally uses carrots, lotus root, very important, and ginger, and they're all gonna need to be peeled so no skin remains. Then using a sharp knife, you're gonna roll your carrots and cut it into chunks, then slice your lotus root so it's approximately the same size and chop some whole corn up as well. Smack that ginger, cut it into chunks, and set aside. Alright, let's get back to the soup. There will be an accumulation of scum on top, so spoon it out carefully. And when that's done, remove your pieces of meat from the boiling liquid, get any more scum that might be in there, and guess what? There's actually a little more cleaning to do. Now while the boiling of the meat gets a lot of the scum off, there's still a bit of residue that resides on the meat itself, so you're gonna bring it to a sink and wash it with cold water, and then you can place it back into the same pot of water or a brand new one if you don't like that cloudy look to your soup. There are lots of steps that let you get rid of that cloudiness later, but for this soup, you know what? The easier and simpler the better. Now the soup is really gonna get cooking, so place your cut veggies in and bring the entire thing again to a boil, and after a while you're gonna have another round of scooping off the scum. In total, we're gonna be cooking this thing for anywhere between three and four hours with just some very light monitoring in between. Finally, you can optionally add in some chicken bouillon powder, but definitely add some salt to the whole thing and just stir it until it's combined. Dish out the soup into your convenient porringer bowls, just like Baby Yoda used in the show, and let those delicious veggies show themselves on top. I just had to test it myself while we were cooking it, and oh yeah, it's a masterpiece, just like how mom made it growing up. As always, these videos are brought to you thanks to our wonderful patrons over at patreon.com slash feastoffiction, and we shout out one lucky patron each episode, so this week's feast is dedicated to... Who's that patron? It's Levi King Thor! Levi Kane Thorpe! Yummy! This is so good! <laughs> oh my gosh! I love this! I used to have this all the time growing up, and it was my favorite soup to have. You did? Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my cool. mom always made it. Cool! Did you always make it for him when he was sick? Um, yeah, or just for dinner. Just for dinner. Because there's a lot in soup, right? This isn't just like water. There's a lot of nutrition in there. Yeah, it's been seeping out over hours and hours. And it's so flavorful. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy that we have this recipe now because I can't wait to make this in my own household. Yeah. This is so good, y'all. Really easy for a child, like a baby, to eat. No, actually, like to... they don't, they don't um, uh, like to drink water. You can put this in for them. Oh. And then for it, hydration. It has a lot. Yeah, it has a lot of uh, calcium and nutrition because yeah. it's all from the meat and vegetables. Well, I think it'd be awesome to give Sawyer because I like to give him 
some sort of broth stuff sometimes yeah. when I know he's having a cold. Yeah. Uh, and this having so many nutrients, and I love the ginger. Yeah. It just tastes so good. This and is carrots. so good. Yes. And then you can put cooked rice in there too. Or you can cook noodles in there. Yes, that would be perfect. It's better than water. Oh my it's gosh, it's a really good so soup. Good. Yeah. Mom, it where really did you, is. Where did you learn this recipe? Oh, well, I'm married to your dad, and he's Cantonese, and mm -hmm. Cantonese always, always have good soups. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Well, they just know how to live, I guess. <laughs> Better than anybody else. This is the very uh, traditional part of it, which is the lotus roots. Which is really good. Mm -hmm. It has lots of fiber, mm -hmm. and um, it's also nutritious too. Yeah, lots of fiber. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of like one of the vegetables. You can put it in a soup, or you can stir fry it. Ooh, nice. Yeah. I don't know if many people know this, but Star Wars is very Asian inspired, so I'm glad that we were able to make an Asian soup for her an Asian-inspired show originally. Me too, oh, and it cool. was so good. Honestly, it's gone. <laughs> Mine's gone so, too. So, um, very flavorful. I'm just so thankful that you shared this recipe with us. Oh, Thank you so much, Thanks, Mom. Mom. Yay. Yay! It's the perfect time for soup all throughout the winter and in the summer, heck. I love soup all times of year, yep. so. Hopefully we look half as cute drinking it as Baby Yoda did. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of have the whole, like, thing on. You need to put on, a couple yeah. of years. Yeah, I need a neck thing. Ones. Yeah. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you let us know in the comments below what you want to see us make next on the show. And of course, check us out at patreon.com slash piece of fiction. They helped us get on this brand new set. And in a few months, Happy New Year, we are coming out with a brand new cookbook. That's right, so Yay. exciting. 2020 is starting off with a big time bang. Big bangs. And yeah. don't forget to subscribe. Oh, <laughs> that's don't the most forget. important thing. Never thing. forget, thank you. Yeah, and hit the little notification bell too. So yeah, you just know. click. Just click. Yeah. Lots of clicks. You don't want to miss out on all the fun and exciting things that are going on with us. And we don't want you guys to miss out. True, true. We want to share all the success with you. So, thanks And so you much. share yours with us. Thanks, right? guys. <laughs> yeah. Let us know in the comments. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.